We also, uh, as a part of this service today, uh, want to interview one of our students, one of our young adults that is going on mission with God uh, this coming summer, Alita Schroeders. And if you'd come up, uh, would you welcome Alita on the stage with me? And uh, she is going to be on mission with the Lord uh, this coming summer. We wanted to have a commissioning uh, for her, so I've just got a few simple questions for you. And uh, Alita, I just want to ask you, um, where are you headed this summer, and what length of time will you be there? So I'm going to a country in Eastern Europe this summer, and I'll be there for two months. And what organization are you going to be with this summer? I'll be going with an international missions organization called Crossworld, which many of you might be familiar with. And the reason that you would be familiar with it is because that's where Bill Fuller is now working with Crossworld. And so we're excited about that. Um, tell us a little bit, what kind of work will you do this summer? Yeah, so I'll be working in a small town that actually runs a nonprofit there. So I'll be helping with two summer camps they put on. Um, one of them is an English camp for kids, and the other is an adventure camp for teens. And tell me a little bit of the backstory. What was it that specifically prompted you to go and want to be a part of this kind of work this summer? So last summer, Bill actually came and did a sermon here talking about Crossworld um, and just calling people to move and be on mission. And that actually really led me to just start talking to him, and I got to know him and the organization a little better. Um, and I actually study in school right now international affairs with a concentration in Eastern Europe. So it was really cool how the Lord opened this opportunity to go. Um, and so I think I just felt like he was really pushing me to pursue not only my passion in academics, but also in ministry. Amen. And the last question I've got for you is, we think about your leaving and being gone for several months this summer. What are some specific things that we could pray for you and this congregation could pray as you journey throughout the summer months? Yeah, I think two main things. Um, one is just kind of strength and trust in the Lord um, consistently throughout this summer. It's a completely new culture and a pretty big step. So um, just resting in his comfort and his goodness. And then the other is for the people there um, and the kids I'll be working with, as well as the um, leaders and the team that I'll be working with. Awesome. I know you want to pray for Alita, and I'm just going to ask you to do this as we commission her for this summer's work, would you just extend your hands and I'm going to lead us in a word of prayer and ask God's blessings upon her. And this will also serve as our offertory prayer uh, as well. Lord, uh, thank you for Alita. Thank you for Rimco and Lenore. Thank you for her uh, siblings, for her sisters. And thank you for the call that you've made in Alita's life. Uh, thank you for the fact that um, it's always to be a, a privilege to be a part of kingdom work here on earth. I do pray that you would honor the prayer request that she's mentioned. Help her to trust in the Lord with all of her heart and to not lean on her own understanding. To in all of her ways acknowledge you and you'll make straight her paths. Lord, we pray for the leadership there. Uh, we pray for that country that she'll be in. I pray that lives will be changed and impacted that Jesus will be shown and evident in her life. Lord, we pray that you would prepare even now this day the hearts of children, and teens, and adults that she'll interact with, that they can come to saving faith in Jesus. So we ask that you just pave the way for all that's going to occur. And as we trust you by faith, we give you thanksgiving and praise. And we ask this and pray it in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen.